and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everyone on YouTube. Uh, for a new day today, we've got Meme Tier Monday. We're playing some Meme Tier decks, especially our first three. Um, we're going to start with one that we've played before, Chronicler Barkeep, with a couple of changes that we talked about the last time we played it. But then after this, we have a couple of pretty janky combo decks that uh, may not work, but it'll be fun. Uh, so hopefully, those y'all watching it later on YouTube enjoyed these videos. All right, but our first one here, Chronicler Barkeep, is basically a combo deck um, that's trying to play back alley barkeep as much as possible. That's that's really like all we're trying to do, is um, you know get get the first back alley barkeep in play. We summon one random card. The second one we get two random cards, and so on. We're just trying to create a bunch of random cards in hand and then drown the opponent out in value. Uh, last time that we played this though, we had four four drops. We had we had another four drop. Um, I don't remember what card, but we I remember we had we had like too much top end, and so like what we're actually gonna do is uh, play Elise's. Um, I think or or no, I guess we were playing we were just playing the two mana three two. Um, I believe that we were just going with like Kempunk pickpocket or, or something like that. Um, but actually gonna I remember that like we weren't playing Elise, like we just had Thresh as our only as our only champion, which is a little awkward for like Thresh's ability. Um, but we're, we're throwing in Elise's in here basically to be an anti-aggro card. Like, we're not even playing, like, spiders, um, besides Frenzied Skitterer, I guess, just another anti-aggro card. So we're, we're not even, like, trying to, like, really flip Elise. Um, it's just basically being a two-mana 2-3 two, that whenever it attacks puts another 1-1 one, one into play. So you can have, like, the, the two bodies to kind of help you block against aggro decks and help us stay alive. That's really all Elise is, is doing, and then it gives us like at least something to put in if we ever level up Thresh. Um, but yeah, like we're beside Elise and Skitter, that's that's all we got for uh, Spiders. But it's still a pretty good anti aggro cards. So that's why we got it in here. Also put in a Ruination at the top end, where we can if we're like behind in the mid game, uh, we can blow blow up the board with Ruination and then rebuild. But yeah, we're just trying to back alley barkeep Chronicler it to get another one in play um have the barkeep die and then use miss call to bring it back we can copy it with splinter soul um fading memories it so we can play another one you know like we're just trying to do those kind of stuff over and over so um but and then uh, eventually win because we have just too many cards that's about it all right so here we go let's let's give this a try we had rank up, uh, rank up Sunday yesterday went really well. We, um, you know, did a whole lot of winning and everything. Today, maybe not so much. <laughs> we may not have the most wins today, but we're gonna have some fun. Hey, Lama Tusk. Uh, Stray asks, can you make Yasuo work? Yes, I, I do have a Yasuo deck that I like quite a bit. Um that, you know, like, works pretty well. I will look for that right now. But as you know, Yasuo is getting that buff tomorrow. It's going to have um, even more toughness. All right, playing against Ash. I don't think we need this rummage right away. Let's get these other things. I maybe should be mulliganing the Chronicler also, cause it, since we don't have the barkeep yet. I guess that's a little that's a little older version of the Yasuo deck. Let me get a, a newer one. Sorry. Here we go. There you go, Stray. Uh, check out that Yasuo deck. You know we went four one with it for a, a Master's rank. It's, it's pretty good. It's not perfect, of course. It is the Yasuo deck, but it's pretty good. Flip 
four three. You can't mystic shot it. All right, we we got it set up. We drew the barkeep. We're gonna have barkeep and then chronicler the barkeep, and so on. Time to get that value. Barkeep value. Sure. If you only knew that was not the three power. That's not not the three power or less creature you need to worry about. Look at that. Create a frenzied skitter. The war mother will unite us all. No place for the night. Okay, we got a crawling sensation. We created. Our banner will lead the way. Um We created a Ledros. Barkeep makes some good cards for you. You know, Skitter or Ledros. Oh, wait, no, we drew Ledros. Never mind. We made Scavenger. Oh, Miss Call's great. We gonna do block? There's no way you block, right? They block. Alright, so this will this will give me up to ten cards. Oh, this is so great. Like, how do we actually win? Who knows? We just have a lot of cards. We probably don't, but... Yeah, who knows how we'll win. We probably won't win, but... We got a lot of cards, and that's pretty awesome. Um... I guess I'll play this peddler. Sir, there was a little fella asking for me. Oh no! The Reckoning! No, not the Reckoning. Today we fight as one! Alright, definitely not winning. I know, that was so sad. <laughs> as long as we die as we live with cards in our hand. So I want Thermogenic Beam to do 5 damage to that thing, so that means I had 2 extra mana, so we played Elise first. I don't know what their hand's all about, the 7 mana, they're just not playing anything. Kind of weird. I feel like we should be doing other stuff first. Play this thing. Okay, well, that whiffed. Line up. Line up. I have a bunch of frostbite spells in hand. Is that what they got? Let's see what you've got. Not too surprising. Hmm. Yep. 
four three back. Ugh. Still whiffed with the allegiance. Barkeep. I will unite the frail yard. Give me some cards. What we got? Anything good? Not really. <laughs> We don't have any good cards, but we got a lot of cards. Stand together. I don't know if we're good, but oh well. Come. Stay a while. Um. Yeah, I mean we have some discard. We have we have rummages. Uh, so yeah, like I'm, I'm running rummages and get excited. See, so, you know, I I do have some discard. Wheel. GGS. I have might. All right, well, that Reckoning really hurt. But then, you know, their creatures are just kind of too big. <laughs> All right, well, we, we died with a full hand. We had 10 cards still, even if none of them really did anything. Still had 10 cards. All right, so Ezreal Jinx. Where's a barkeep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can't be mad at that. We died. We had 10 cards in hand when we died. Like, what can we. What else do you need? Is it... I think I heard a myth about that. Isn't that like how you cross the, rev the river sticks by having 10 cards in hand? It goes something like that. I think that was it. Why is he keeping all these Poro snacks? Look at all these Poro snacks the minion has. We discard an Avarosan Sentry. Okay. Yes. Yes. We're doing it. Put a spring in your step and stars in your eyes. Yeah, take our cards with us. Okay. Um, man, I really wish we had one more mana. I would love to Chronicler the Barkeep and then Miscall it. It's possible that's just too many cards. 
Let's just attack here first. Bull well no. No place for the guy, Jimmy. We got anything good? Okay, Brood Awakening. Oh, Parade Electro Rig. We can attack with our barkeep and put shuffle four more barkeeps in our deck. Probably don't need to do that though. I like how we're played against the other, like, meme deck with the Elnux. Um, I guess we're going to kill the Electro Rig. I don't really want them to attack with Bull Elnux and then play... You know, like, put four copies of Bull Elnuck in, and then play the, the five mana one. They're probably attacking, right? I assume so. Okay, okay. We got some cards. We do some stuff. Let's just discard these two. No, Elrond. No, I've been playing uh, Legends of Runeterra here. And I wrote about that a couple months, months ago right there. In that Google document, why I think this is why I've been enjoying this game and why I recommend it and everything. All right, let's see. So we got seven mana. I can bring back another Elise. But I could Brood Awakening and be able to flip Elise the next turn. No. Sounds of Don't blink. No, I haven't been paying attention to the the new set or anything. We have we have a new set for Legends of Runeterra coming out this month. That have like the spoilers happening and stuff right now too. This Ezreal could kill me. I guess they're a ways away from flipping it. to discard. I think I'll just pass. Oh no. Rules are made to be broken. This is a nightmare. They have counterfeit copies jinx combo. That's such a great combo. Let me change into something more. Come to the <laughs> that's such a great combo. That, that's what we're going to be doing later on with our, our counterfeit lookout. We're going to be doing counterfeit copies, Jinx. Because... Oh. Okay, so jump, block, block, and we discard Ledros, or let's see, this Matron's going to be pretty sweet.
Alright, get rid of the rummage. Okay, we found something to kill Ezreal. Uh, I guess Thresh? I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to discard here. I guess, I don't know, maybe it's Ledros. That's, like, I want to keep all these things because I want to have the options of Matron putting in Rekindler or Matron putting in Ledros. Or, you know, I guess Matron putting in Thresh can put it in any of those. Oh, this, this game is not difficult to learn whatsoever, Pro Hunt. Like, it, there's just the one set out right now. You know, like, we're about to get the second set, but this is not a, a difficult game to learn at all. Hey, Kuro. Yeah, I think this is a... It's, it's very... Uh, new user-friendly. And it has amazing rewards. You really don't need to invest money in it. You can grind your collection. Hmm. I need to get rid of this Jinx. I want to play like one of these things first, but we really need to get rid of the Jinx. So it's risky. So I'll I'll just get rid of this thing. We'll do the the least risky thing of just get rid of Jinx right away, or at least try to. Okay. So I can still thermogenic beam it, but that means they're going to be able to unload their hand now, most likely. So I have 11 mana. So if we play Rekindler, I only have four left for thermogenic beam. So we got to play Thresh so that we can have six. Yeah, um, so like the, the game has a, a really a pretty good tutorial system, but I have, um, actually I think it's a, a command, let me see. Tutorial, there you go. There's my, there's me playing through the tutorial, if you want to watch me kind of play through it and, and help explain the, the rules and everything. Um, but no, it's, it's like, you'll pick it up in, in one day, especially coming from Magic. What? What just happened? Oh, did they just play a new Jinx? That was their other card in hand, was a new Jinx? Yes, that was the card in hand. Well, I'm pretty dead. Bye -bye. You're welcome, Hunt. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, definitely check it out. This game's awesome. I feel like I didn't play this game correctly. Somehow. Somewhere. I think I, like maybe I could have killed Jinx. I, could I kill Jinx like the turn before last, maybe? Or something? Okay, they're out of Jinxes. That's good. That's good. We can work with that. At least they're out of Jinxes for now. Oh, man. You know how much I want to play Back Alley Barkeep, but it's just not the play right now. Right now, the play is Matron in a Rekindler. What? We get back Elise? Oh, I guess Elise is bigger than Thresh. I was expecting a Thresh. Look out for Reavers. Alert 
Yeah, that that's still a pretty sweet play that our matron matron in a rekindler that gets an Elise. So they've played three counterfeit copies. They played one on Omen Hawk and then two two more on um, on Jinx. So they, they should have a ton of Jinxes in their deck currently. Those are very easy blocks. Keep, get four new cards. I don't have room for five new cards. We're gonna have to unload our hand. Yeah, get that life, get that life link. We can play a barkeep, make five new cards. Boo. It's fine. Alright, five new cards. Fill them up. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Crazy awesome. I'm not sneaky, I'm dynamic. And I'm dynamite. <laughs> Time to go! Hey, what's up, Storm? One and one, man. What? We had a couple awesome games there, man. This deck's awesome. We're playing some meme tier decks today, Storm. This deck is not really good at winning, but it's really good at putting a whole bunch of random cards in our hand. That's what we do. We draw random cards. And not like cards in our deck, you know? Like, we just create just random cards in the game. And so... Uh, and create a bunch of them and then just see what happens. <laughs> What's Counterfeit Lookout? Alright, so it's... Alright, so it's Green Glade Lookout. Green, Green Glade Lookout to reduce the cost of... Like a, a two, try to make a two drop into one mana, okay? Try to turn like a green glade duo into like one mana with, with green glade lookout. And then you counterfeit copies your green glade duo that's now one mana. So you put four more copies of them in your deck at one mana. And then you play Kinku Wayfinder to put two one drops into play. And then you put, but then you actually get like two drops. So you, you can have like Kinku Wayfinder put into like green glade duos. That's <laughs> that's the deck. I'm telling y'all, we're going meme tier today. <laughs> My shield is yours. I got three meme decks to start with. And then, and then I have to just see. I need to get a fourth deck. I'm just gonna play some ephemeral aggro for some fun. Save your world. Yes, it will be. Uh, the card list will be on the YouTube video. It's also right here. Daring stomach. Everybody knows that you can't fight on an empty stomach. I don't even care that my opponent's going to kill me with this Fiora because I just get more barkeeps in play. So our first barkeep created a, a Poro. So our next one, we're going to create two random cards. We get a Tortured Prodigy and a Golden Crush Bot. Okay, okay. These are some pretty spare cards. Not going to lie. All right, so we can play another one and make three cards. You know, each each time you play one, you, you create more cards. So, that, so we, now we create three, but we can only have ten in hand. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I, I can't have that many cards. Um, I guess we could try to just kill the Fiora. 
I guess. We could play this Daring Poro. Get that out of our hand. <clears throat> Alright, so no barrier. That's cool. They're playing Bannerman before it gets nerfed. Um, Alright, let's make three, three new cards. What do we get? A couple amateur area knots and a Rasa. Oh, Rasa could be surprising. Eat up, friend. Eat up. Hmm. Yeah, Bannerman won't buff itself anymore. It will only buff the other allies t starting mm. tomorrow. Pretty good nerf, so it won't be a 4 4, it'll be a 3 3. But, come here. Oh, you big. Hey, puppy. Gonna come join Meme Tier Monday? Uh, I guess. I guess that's my blocks. Because I kind of don't want. I kind of want to keep one bar keep so we can have it die and then miss call it back, but that may be. That may be too hopeful. I have too many, like, th just three and four mana guard. I have just too, too many expensive guards. I guess I'll play some Chump Wumps, but then I play Chump Wump, I get the Puff Caps. So then I have to, like, play the Puff Caps. I don't know. I'll play a Crush Bot. I need to unload more cards. So our next barkeep we play will get four random cards. Swift Wing Lancers. I don't like them. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Well, like, if we don't have, you know, like, you, we don't all, like, so far we've been doing really good at drawing bar keeps, but, like, Think about games that we don't draw back alley bar keep. Yeah. We have to have something else, and so then we can have like we can just keep making chump wump. We can you know make a bunch of chump wumps that give us a bunch of puff caps and give them like a, a ton of puff caps. I don't know. Chump wump's just a pretty decent card. Could give me like six mana. Fall to our standard. The 
Dang, these Demacia cards are pretty good. I don't know if anybody's ever seen these cards before. They're pretty good. So I got a one in three shot of Miss Callback, the barkeep. Come on, one in three shot. Let's hit it. 33%. No. We whiffed. I guess I could have done that first. I should have discarded an area or not. The area or not. Air, arrow? The arrow knots. That's how we pronounce it. The arrow knots can't block. I should have discarded that, not a chump lump. Right. Demacia shall prevail. The other forward. No, this game's lost. Maybe I need two ruinations in here, not not one. You know, I put one ruination to try to help with these kind of games. Maybe I need a second ruination. Probably do need a second ruination. Put in a second ruination. Let's go over instead of one chump lump. Okay, instead of one of the chump lumps, we'll play a ruination. There we go. All right, I'm going to edit the deck list. Yeah. Two, yeah, two ruinations, not too many. Definitely need that card. Sometimes. Because hopefully against like the slow control decks, we can now grind him with all the bar keeps anyway. And maybe we don't need that chump wump. Uh, Thresh Elise. Hello. I don't know. Our hand looks kind of cool. We can keep it. Let's see getting rid of the thrash. Basically, you know, like we'll have skitter on three, we'll have barkeep, copy the barkeep, play another barkeep. Like maybe I should have got rid of the thrash. But thrash could look at that thermogenic beam draw. I say if like we, we need to have like thrash as like a removal spell, we could have it. What? 
We got a mirror match? <laughs> oh, the pursuit of perfection. <laughs> yeah, fading, I mean, fading memories is to copy back alley barkeep to, to make a new barkeep. I want one more mana. I want a barkeep mist call. There's nothing to fear. Alright, fair enough. Give them these mushroom clouds. Get them out of my hand. Because we're about to have a lot of cards. Yeah, if we could, that would be a pretty good goal to be able to kill with the, the huge cat. Oh, they have a Karina Veraza. All right, got some puff caps. Put a spring in your step, the stars in your eyes. So we're gonna go. This will get us up to ten cards. Ooh, whale. I guess we have to 50-50 shot. We either get a Thresh, or we get a back alley barkeep and draw a ton of cards. So if, if the bad option is getting a Thresh, I think our options are pretty good. No, we got a Thresh. Ugh, back alley barkeep. We're at 9 out of 20 for the Pursuit of Perfection. I'm guessing the counterfeit copies was created by the barkeep. I hope this works. It is pretty slow. Ooh. Well then. It, it does say like here, like see it says here like back alley barkeep created this card, but like here it doesn't say it. That's 
a big old lifesteal creature. With some pretty epic art. Got seven puff caps right now. Shot to the thrash, but you're too late. You're going Okay, fresh offerings. We get a six six fearsome. I suppose. All right, so both my threshers are at five out of six, so I could get excited, kill one of these, and make them six out of six. Level up. We're at 11 out of 20 towards catastrophe. We're getting there. But you're too late. I don't want to discard. I guess I discard the other thrash. Discard the chump lump. I mean, honestly, realistically, I should be discarding Pursuit of Perfection here. So I should be discarding. We'll discard Chump Bump. That'll level up Thresh. Thresh goes to four toughness. So now it's at 12. Let's go Ledros. So Ledros can block Vile Maw. So that should be at 13. I mean, we're not we're not playing you know meme tier Monday and then going away from trying to get the pursuit of perfection. No, we're we're going straight for the pursuit of perfection. Straight for it. Hmm. 
I know I can try to challenge her and I can challenge her and kill this thing, but I just don't want them to level that up. I want to kill that before it can possibly level up. That's not. All right, so I have a couple options here. I can Chronicler, kill the Rekindler, get another Thrash. I can play this Thrash. Or I can also just draw three. You know what I mean? I want to draw three. Yeah. All right, we're at 15 now. Yeah, exactly. We need to find more barkeeps to get more random cards. Yeah, yeah, we can do that too. Do I want to do that? I guess so. I kind of want to play barkeep. How many how many cards do we get? Three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. Too many cards. Uh, we'll just play this for now. No place for the I guess this turns on the box. We can play that. Kill some stuff. Alright, um, which one came out this turn? Okay, that one came out this turn, so we can block this one. And then... Yeah, you can die, I don't, I don't really care. Oh, uh, yeah. The Thrash is going to die. So this should be... Does that... Is that number 17 or is this about to be number 18? That's just number 17. I hope my opponent doesn't concede. Refreshment from cross rune era. <laughs> oh no, they drew a mushroom cloud? How do they have a mushroom cloud in their deck? They're not actually playing, just playing mushroom cloud. But no, they conceded. We still had 10 cards and they had nothing. But I wanted to pursue to perfection. We were getting so close. There we go. What will happen if I not open my vault till the 30th and keep collecting XP for the next vault? What will happen? Will I be able to open three Tuesday vault rewards? on the 30th um or yeah so you're saying like till, till the next set comes out i honestly don't know i don't know yeah i i really don't know my guess is if you don't my guess is uh if you don't open up what are we doing thresh elise uh what, oh wait elise ash do i want to keep a thresh Rush is good against Ash. We'll keep one. My complete guess, and I, I have no idea, but my complete guess would be that, like, you, let's say you have a level, you know, 13 vault, and you don't open it up, that it's just going to keep on leveling up. Like, that you'll just have a level 14, level 15, level 16, and so on. That you'll just level up your vault, and it's not, you know, you won't have three different vaults. You'll just have... A, you know, you'll just Winter level up to be like a level 18 or whatever. Wait, WQ, was that... Did we just play against you? Was that you? Leaping oh, that was you? Okay. Okay, cool. The, the mushroom cloud is supposed to be counterfeit. Man, I was hoping you didn't concede. Because from... We were going to... 
with our barkeep, we were gonna we had we got a pursuit of perfection, and so I just need to cast a couple more cards to get pursuit of perfection, and make you know have the make the thirty thirty. We were almost there. Yeah, I was like, I hope they don't concede. Yeah, I was almost there. But hello. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, thanks sir. Yeah, I know you, you were watching the stream while while we got paired. I know. Um, but that was crazy. Yeah, we had like the mirror match. That was pretty awesome. All right, well, we can replay Elise. I could missed call back Elise. But I think I'll rather just replay Elise. I think I want to save missed call for something else. And I will brag about it. Obviously, I want to kill that thing, but I don't have wonderful options to do that. I guess I have to just waste all this mana. It's like get excited, discards one of these, but I really don't want to discard any of these. Rex, what are you doing? Rex must have miss hit a, a button or something. All right, I'm Wait, what is? I need help. How do I untime out Samoa? I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm guessing that. Okay, that was that was from your pocket. Yeah, your pocket did that. Yeah, it's happened before. That's what I was kind of guessing. Faster than my arrow? Something like that I happened. Um. Okay. So now a 6-4 Ash. Man, that's so much more difficult to deal with than a 6-3 or a 5-3. I don't like the 6-4 Ash. So I'm I'm doing this. I want them to play something else and then I can ruination. We were then kindle anew. 
perfect. Get rid of those ashes. The problem is my hand is terrible. That's kind of the problem here. And I really hope they don't have another ash. All right, come on, barkeep. Come on, barkeep. No, now I get a rummage. And I just got rid of that card to, just to get a card out of my hand and use a mana. was nice though. No, I can't have one more mana. Get him, Ledros. Get him. Just draw draw one of these puff caps. Wow, oh, they just pass completely. Draw a puff cap? No. So close. Ledros is a play trigger, not a um you know, not a trigger that will happen with with this. Ledros. Oh, right. I was just saying that that's a play trigger. Alright, so we should have this. FEMA with the big time raid. Welcome, everybody. We got a fun day today. We got meme tier Monday. That's what that's what we're calling it. We got some meme tier decks going on right now. So so Alright, so we'll kill the Ledros, revive it. We get a new Ledros in hand. No, I don't I don't have a, a PlayStation. You need a you need a PlayStation for Come on, two pup caps? Oh, so close. You need a a PlayStation 4 for the Final Fantasy 7 remake. All right, they're staying alive. No. No healing. No healing allowed. There we go. Waited for them to play their healing spell. And killed them. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I could have killed them before, but... Yeah, we were having fun. Alright, so we went 3 and 2 with our... Counter, or with our Chronicler Barkeep deck. So that was our, our first deck of the day. Uh, lots of barkeeps, lots of cards. 
Uh, definitely fun to play. Is it one of the best decks? No. But uh, Ruination was awesome. Like that second game we had Ruination. I think that's that's good, adding in a second Ruination. Um, I think that's definitely an upgrade. We were undefeated after adding in a second Ruination. So, you know, how about that? Um, but yeah, Lease was good at just, just being, you know, like a two-mana card that people had to, like, worry about and, you know, just did some stuff and helped us get, you know, helped us uh, not be behind whenever we get to the mid-game and get to our bar keeps and chroniclers and stuff like that. So that's that's all Elise is trying to do. Um, but yeah, fun deck to play. All right, so uh, first deck, um, definitely a success. You know, we got a, two other crazy decks here um, that we're going to be trying out for our next two. But uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this deck. Also, if you have a sweet meme tier deck, feel free to put it in the comment section for those y'all watching on YouTube, and I'll check it out. But that's it for Chronicler Barkeep. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.